Um, on the show with me tonight, and it's going to be a jam-packed show, a very interesting, a couple of very interesting callers. I'll talk about them in a second coming up as well as we go to those live telephone calls. Let me introduce you to my panel this evening on a cold Wednesday night. Jerome Aron, so welcome to Cab Rugby TV. Jerome R. Fish uh, Jerome R. 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 And we'll also take a look at some of the messages, uh, Facebook messages that came up uh, during the uh, course of the um, uh, the WhatsApp messages that we've been putting uh, uh, through. Yes, well, Andrew Kupman, um is uh, messaging me right now. Andrew Kupman is, I think, from um, uh, <coughs> Dishon, if he's still uh, if he's still there. Oh no! In fact, he's sending us jokes. Um, Andrew, if you're watching us right now, uh, we are live. <laughs> Folks, we were, of course, out at Collegians this weekend at Lentegeer um, to watch a, an incredible game um, against Rangers. Derby stuff. Thousands of fans around the side of the field. Now, if you haven't watched club rugby before, well, you need to get out. You need to get out more. You need to come and watch a club rugby game in Western Province. There were literally thousands of fans around the field. It was a fantastic game. We went down to the wire um, at the Hut. Well, as it's known, <laughs> Lente here. Uh, yeah, you, 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 I suppose, uh, am I allowed to call it that
All right, folks, welcome back. A uh, little bit, um, yes, apparently Bronson's uh, teammates are telling him that he should, um, um, we should, what, renew our TV license? <laughs> yeah, they're chirping you a bit. They're saying that you must uh, sort all that. They're watching and it's still scrambling. Yeah, well, it's good news. It's good news. The more chirps we get, the better. There's more fun and games. Um, although I did get a personal WhatsApp here from somebody, that, uh, and I think I'll just delete it now. Um, so I don't need to have the... The comment there jerome uh let's focus on the game yeah uh collegians mm -hmm. rangers went down to the wire um it, it really was i mean what do you make of the game so far yeah i just see the first half now a, a couple of good tries uh by this by the center and that big number eight uh, he's a big ball carrier for collegians a good try and also um rangers didn't didn't hold back there's a lot of running rugby uh it seems like in this first half there wasn't a lot of set pieces it's uh, tries from broken play, which is good. Yeah. Good inter, uh, inter passing between forwards and backs, and good offloads there. So it's good running rugby. Uh, Bronson, I don't know how much you were able to concentrate on on the first half highlights there. Um, uh, I, in fact, uh, yeah. So your thoughts? Yeah, I, I agree with Jerome. Uh, the the underfoot conditions looks good there. The number twelve from Collegians uh, had a very good game. Uh, even converted uh, his try out from the corner. Uh, so I must say that it seems that he had a good running game. And uh, like Jerome said, good interplay between forwards and backs over there. So I think we can obviously a spectacle for the crowd. Yeah, we were, it was fantastic. I mean, uh, for those that were there, they were loving every minute, and it was it was it was going both ways. I think it, uh, at halftime it was twenty-one-five in the favour of Collegians, but I, mean, I was on my way through there. It was fourteen-nil. And then it just started, you know, glow. But it, it, there's, there's a definitely a difference. You can see the clear difference in club rugby from five years ago, ten years ago. In fact, the first thing that I noticed when I got there, uh, to the side of the field was just how big the collegians, or bigger than before, the collegians guys are. are, are. Um, I saw the eighth man and he was uh, <laughs> like a manier. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's massive. It's a, they've got a big pack of forward, both, yeah. both teams. Yeah. And uh, not... I mean, a lot of guys you can see they condition also, so they yeah. uh, So, a couple of tries there. Uh, Rifai Jappy, um, is that uh, Rabbit from uh, Western Province? Is it same um, play? I haven't, I haven't seen him in the f maybe, maybe I haven't seen him in the f in the first half. Yeah. So um, maybe second half. Uh, well, there were a couple of aunties on the side of the field, and and I've got to try and show the photograph. I'll see if I can still get it up. But there were a couple of aunties on the side of the field, who I think was all related. Two they're rabbits. All, they're all a lot of jappies. There's a lot of jappies here. So anyway, playing a yeah. great game there. Shabir Bandin, um, of course, a uh, close friend to Cape Rugby TV. Uh, also had a fantastic game. Carl Morta, all the tries there in the first half. And of course, the re game was refereed by Matt Kemp from Western Province. So uh, they took this game very seriously. Rangers tries from Abu Bakr, Francis, and Faiz Charles, and Tashrik Bester. Uh, unfortunately, a couple of cards, or at least a card there in the first half. But still, Rangers managed to hang on. And Collegians needed to win this game in their fight against relegation and they of course now on uh, 28 points with one game to go so it was a vital game let's take a look now at the second half highlights
Oh, welcome back, folks. We're just kind of debating the different players there. Um, number three, Rifat uh, Jappi. Um, mo uh, mom, auntie, um, grandma. I think everybody was there. The whole family was there to support him. Um, Jerome, I think Rifat, of course, works with a, at the High Performance Center with the Western Rams guys. I think he's bringing some of his pr professional tricks into this game. He p scored some great tries there. Yeah, he's my uh, conditioning coach with the under-21 team. <laughs> <laughs> Did you know yeah, that he was playing over the weekend? No, yeah, because we were on camp last week and, uh, and, and, and we only came back on, on, on Friday. So yeah. it's surprising to see that he played, but he's fit and he's strong. So, yeah, well, yeah. <laughs> that's yeah. why I didn't see him in the, what do you make I didn't see him in the first half. <laughs> well, he's got a very good character, likable guy. Um, I never knew he can split himself in two like that, but well done to him. <laughs> yeah, he's playing a great game. All right, folks, so uh, it, it's uh, been a, it, w it was a fantastic game there. Um, in fact, um, um, uh, if, if you have a half a chance to get down to Collegians, uh, once again, the hosp hospitality at Collegians was, was really great. I mean, Brink and the guys were, were fantastic. It was such a nice after-match uh, uh, talk there. Um, and in fact, you know, was, what was really nice was listening to the referee, Matt Kemp, uh, talking about the quality of the game, but also that it, that the players were focused on the game. There was no time for for anything other than just to put on a really good game. Yeah, no, that's that's good for rugby. That's actually what I what I picked up now. There was no no time. The game was actually so fast that I think there was no time for needles. In in, yeah. in, in, in it is a derby sort of a derby game, always a tough game, but uh, it's good. They played yeah. in a good spirit, and uh, you can see like also like Rangers the. They didn't hold back in, uh, in the one scrum that I see there. Uh, perfect channel one ball because the, 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 the collision spec were bigger. And uh, that's, that's nowadays, if you see, uh, I've just received uh, the new laws of the game today in, in the scrum. That everybody can hook again and um, it's like back to old school. So the whole front row can hook. So right. Guys have to quicker, and it was a good channel one ball from. Oh, from that's going to be interesting there. for us to take a look at. So, are these the new IRB laws? It's new laws, yeah. 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 When when will they start getting taken? No, it start. We we start actually started to play on on, on, on Saturday. We played the new laws. That's oh. why they gave it, and I've got um, Egan seconds in to come to come tomorrow uh, to my training session just so that we can be clear on the new laws. I don't know if James Dalton will be happy with that though, Bronson. Yeah, um, my, my yeah, the tricks. <laughs> we need to look at this new tricks. I, I think it will only be. Um, I mean, you guys have got James, uh, yes. of course, helping out at Bell High, and, yeah. and, and he's a former World Cup winning hooker. Yeah. Um, I wonder what he would think about. Yeah, I think it's important for 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 for. We'll only have these laws for us next year for club rugby. So obviously, we sh um, there's a couple of coaches that shadow guys like Jerome at uh, Western Province. So we will obviously learn from them, and then yeah. we'll carry it over to our club players. So when they do come into the system, it's easier to to uh, to learn and, and so forth so yeah yeah all right folks um when we come back after the break we'll be speaking to ebi murat he's of course the coach over at rangers he shams is the the rangers uh, captain uh, we've had him on the on the show on a number of occasions um farid hussein Fariz ka and hussein benjamin all from collegians we'll uh, chat to them just after the break stick around uh, it's going to uh, still stay very interesting and don't forget a little bit later in the show maxi stoffels lynn beakers and shohel morris all coming up Welcome back, everybody. Um, right, it's Cape Rugby TV. You can catch us every Wednesday night um, uh, here on Cape Rugby TV. If you've just joined us, of course, we are live at the moment. And uh, once again, just apologies for the little technical breaks. But it's such a massive appreciation. Everybody is messaging us and telling us, except for Bronson's guys, who says we must renew our TV license. But to answer, <laughs> Ansel and the boys out there, they're, they're keeping a keen eye on us and keeping us uh, up to date as to how it's going. Unfortunately, uh, with the weather, the way it is, um, it doesn't matter where you are, it can be a satellite signal, a microwave signal, or even the internet. It can play havoc sometimes with the signal. But I think we're on top of it now. As I mentioned earlier on, we were, of course, out at um, Collegians. They were up against uh, Rangers over the weekend. Uh, it didn't go the way for um, Rangers, so we spoke to Ebi Murat, the uh, coach from uh, Rangers. <laughs> All right, folks, with me now, Ebi Murat, of course, uh, no stranger to Cape Rugby TV. Uh, Ebi, uh, didn't go your way today. 
Yeah, JP, you know, always a derby game is, can always go either side. Um, credit to Collegians, you know, obviously they, they're in a tough position, as is a lot of clubs in the Super League B at the moment. They use their chance, uh, their chances better. Um, it was always going to be tough playing with 14 men. It was unlucky that we ended up in that position. But I think the guys showed a lot of character. We were far behind come half time. And to come in at the end and almost uh, coming back to win the game, I think the guys they can be proud of that and we'll take that positive, uh, obviously, into the next, uh, the last game of the season. Tell us about the last game. Yeah, we've got Paul at home next week. Uh, you know, it's a repeat of last year. We, we had to beat them in the last game of the season last year to win the league. So uh, hopefully we'll be able to, to pull it off again next week. Um, yeah, so we'll be prepared well for that. Uh, the guys are still very positive. We've had a good season. It uh, could have gone either way. We had a lot of close losses, but uh, obviously we're in a building, uh, building process. You know, you don't become a decent team overnight. It's our first year back in the Super League B. Uh, so we can, we can take a lot of positives out of today. Fantastic stuff, we leave it at that. Yeah. True professional. Thanks. Thanks, Thanks for that. Cheers. Ebi Murat is of course the coach at um, Rangers. Um, they uh, it didn't go their way, but nevertheless, I'm pretty sure that they will still be happy with their performance. Um, and it's not all over yet. Uh, we also spoke to Hisham Samai. He is the uh, one of the captains at Rangers. <laughs> Folks, with me now is Sham Samai, of course, uh, one of the captains um, at uh, Rangers, but we know him as the captain uh, at Rangers. He's been on TV with us a few times and, of course, uh, numerous inter interviews, um, and we normally associate him with great butter chicken. Um, Isham, <laughs> that's, when uh, home, yeah. that's when we play home. Yeah, that's get when you play. Chicken, yeah. um, a big game today. Uh, both teams looked like they left it out there, it looked like it was very physical. Uh, we always knew it was going to be tough. Um, Collegians obviously uh, had a reason to play hard today and, and you guys knew it was going to be a derby match. Yeah, uh, it was quite a tough game. I think it was a game of two halves. Um, all Collegians first half and then all Rangers second half. Uh, but I think we just, um, you know, we gave everything. We knew Collegians wanted it a bit more and well done to them. Yeah. yeah. Where to now? Um, back to the drawing board, of course. Uh, work hard Tuesday, Thursday and then hopefully we, um, we blast uh, Paul away next weekend. A tough game. Yeah, but it's home and it's butter chicken. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we're leaving it there. Thanks. 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 Right, Rangers up against Paul uh, this weekend. Of course, Rangers sitting uh, a little bit lower on the log at the moment, but nevertheless. Uh, all ready for it. Paul's going to certainly give them a bit of a, a go. If we just look at that uh, log at the moment, and you must remember, folks, it's the top three at the moment that are playing or, or, or for the um, or getting ready now for the Presidents' Cup. Is it top three or top two? Top two, top two in e top three in each league, yeah. Yeah. Top six. Top six. Top six. Top six. And then bottom top six. six and bottom. I'm getting a little confused with all the stuff you got. Your top six. Top bottom in eight. Each bottom league. eight. Bottom eight, and then the promotion relegation. Bottom eight. Yeah. Promotion relegation games. I, I, I don't know <laughs> if I want to say that I play in a league uh, that's called bottom. <laughs> but we've got the uh, top six. President's Cup. President's Cup in each league. They're going to be playing over the next few weeks still to get to the President's Cup. Yeah. That's, of course, made up of Super League A, B, and C. You guys correct me if I'm wrong. Mm -hmm. um, then we've got the bottom teams that are playing still. Top eight. Yeah. Top eight. And then um, 13 and 14 is done with their games. And yeah. then 12 has to play. The third in the Super B. Yeah, the then of course there's a, some of the teams yeah. will be playing now in the promotion. bottom three in each league for promotion and relegation. And then in the leagues, in the regional district leagues, we've of course got, uh, well, they call it the, well, you might as well call it the top nine, uh, um, yeah. if you want to call it that. But it's because they're really the top three that in each league that uh, are playing against each other. And then there's the bottom five. Yeah. For sure. Okay. <laughs> All right. Uh, did that make any sense to any of you guys? <laughs> did I have good shit some light today? <laughs> yeah. I don't know. Confuses me at the best of times. Let's speak to Farid Hussein, of course, Collegians coach. <laughs> Folks, with me now is the head coach of uh, Collegians, Farid Hussein. Uh, Farid, you must be very happy with, with today's result, eh? I'm very happy. I knew it's going to be a tough one. But I'm very happy for the five points yeah. because uh, we were struggle, struggling the whole year. So this five points was very crucial to you us. You don't have much voice left. Eh? Yes, I had, to shout, I had to shout <laughs> to the guys. <laughs> uh, discipline looked okay? Well, I've yeah, been I working... I was a yellow card, but it wasn't yeah. so bad. I've been working on a, a discipline since January. Yeah. And uh, today it is... 
part of the game, yeah. yellow cards. We were just lucky we didn't get a red card. Yeah. So. And, and, and from, a, from a game point of view, um, when I when we talk discipline, I'm talking about like, uh, when I mean discipline, are you are the guys defending, getting into their line, are they keeping their self-discipline um, and also their accuracy on the ball? Yes, for the past month, we've been working on defensive structures yeah. uh, from scrums, line out, broken play, even a kick f coming up in a line. And it worked out for us this past couple of weeks. All right, we're going to have to get you into the provincial structures and you can go and coach one of those big international teams. Well, our captain is uh, Faris Kaur. He's a family of Nazim. Ni Nazim Kaur. Ah, that's fantastic. So if There's a whole family here. So if your storm is either lose it, we can always. Hussein, <laughs> <laughs> thank you very much for talking to us. Thank you. There we go. Thank you. Farid Hussain, coach at Collegians. Uh, let's catch up now with Faris Ka, the uh, Collegians captain. Right, folks, we're here at Lente. Here with me is uh, Faris Ka, is of course the captain of uh, Collegians. Not the first time we've had him on the show. Uh, Faris, uh, incredible game today. Typical derby stuff. Uh, Collegians fans out in their droves. You guys must be very happy. Yeah, of course. Yeah, we needed the win. I think the win was more important to us than the five points, but lucky, lucky enough, we worked hard enough for the five points. It was tough, we had a first half, we gave them the second half, but at least we came out with a win. What would you say were the strength points, strong points today? Um, probably our, our strong points, probably the back line. Our back three is, is too dangerous. <laughs> <laughs> what were the guys saying uh, during, the, during the course of the week? Uh, I mean, it's a derby match, we spoke about it on TV, we did a couple of interviews. Uh, there must have been quite a big guess, huh? Yeah, I think, uh, I think the camp is, uh, is kind of good at the moment uh, because we've got three consecutive wins after each other. So it was positive. The whole yeah. week was positive, yeah. Uh, was there a little bit of a thought on your mind of what's happening at Violets or uh, some of the other games of today? Of course, of course. I mean, on the log, we all, there's three teams within the three points, so we have to win to push us up yeah. past them. Because uh, all of you guys are very close in that position there. Definitely. Uh, yeah. But, you know, whatever the result today, uh, you know, incredible day. I mean, you know, I... I I arrived here and again, thousands of fans, um, you guys, and, and looking at, at Collegians, it just looks like it gets better and better every year. If, forgetting the points and the logs, your team is just getting better and better. The, the, all right, they can fix that container if we can get the city to put some money in here. <laughs> yeah, of course, you know, you know, we've got an amazing crowd here in, in Mitchell's Plain. Win or lose, they always stand by us. It's, it's practically amazing. And obviously, with the three wins or four wins, we're gaining, a, we're gaining momentum, we're gaining a culture, so we, the, the, they back us, win or lose. All for the call. All for the call. <laughs> we'll leave it at that, my man. Congratulations, good win. Thanks. Uh, for his car, captain. Uh, Faris Kai is, of course, the uh, captain at um, Collegians. He's been there for quite a while, and we've spoken to him on a number of occasions um, at, um, uh, uh, well, uh, I think I'm, he might even have been on, on the show with us at some stage. Uh, Hussein Benjamin is the uh, Collegians manager. We'll speak to him, and then we'll go for an ad break. Back in a sec. All right, folks, uh, with me, Hussein Benjamin, uh, of course, first team manager at um, Collegians. Um, Hussein, uh, fantastic event today, lots of people, players are very happy. Yeah, it's happy. I think this is one we wanted to win, Zaypi, and I think we needed this one. Um, I think um, the spirit for the whole week and I think the build-up was very good for this one. And you can see today the support was nice, everybody was happy now after the game. And we, take, we, we have one more game left, so we need to continue with this. Yeah, it's a well-organized event. I mean, um, the parking the facilities, uh, everybody looks comfortable and everyone looks in, 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 in great shape. Yeah, it's happy. we actually prepared for a, for a big crowd today. As you can see, we made preparations yeah. and everything is in place. Uh, and I think every week is basically the same. Yeah, and the kids yeah, the obviously kids, loving it. <laughs> yeah, the, I, the, the juniors, the kids played home today also. Yeah. So I think it's here from this morning already. Yeah. And they all waited for this game and yeah. right, it's done now. <laughs> <laughs> all right, listen, we're going to leave it at that. Uh, it was a lekker geest. I'm really enjoying it and uh, well, yeah, yeah, good luck on the log. And, and lastly, JP, thanks to you and thanks for Cape for, 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 for coming. Thank yeah. you. No, it was a pleasure. Love it. Thanks, man. Yeah. See you again. <laughs> Right, welcome back, everybody. It's, of course, Cape Rugby TV. You're watching us uh, live. Um, we'll be uh, speaking after the break to uh, Maxi Stoffels um, from Belleville. Uh, let's first go to ad break. We'll be back in a sec. 
Welcome back, everybody. Cape Rugby TV on the line with me now. Uh, Maxi Stoffels, head coach at Belleville. Maxi, how are you, Manier? Good man, JP. Good man, 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 Good Ik kort gekomen om om kritieke tijden van de games. Ja. Ons het, ons het veel genoeg die laatste twee wedstrijden tot in die laatste minuut en ons het beide wedstrijden verloor. Als gevolg van uh, hier en daar oordeel zijn, maar ons is positief, ons is ons niet naar zaterdag. Ik denk dus het is maak of breek voor ons die week. Maak ze groot dan via de in de Navik ten uh, Salarians, ne? St. George's. St. George's, sorry. Yes. Ten St. George's, ja. Nee, de vergeten, ik denk dat um, Dat betekent voor, voor, voor alle spelers wat, wat in die kaps betekent, betekent dat bij je. Ja. En ik weet dat uh, die, die ons uh, zal hard in het veld zitten om, om, om zeker te maken ons komt met de rechte uitslag van de veld af. Uh, Maxi, ja, dat is natuurlijk tussen die likes van um, Collegians, Wireless, Young Peoples, Belleville. Tussen jullie kan het enige pad, pad gaan nog uh, uh, voor die relegation positie. Jullie moet net en hij uh, buiten die, 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 die onder drie blijven. Ja, dat ik zit, ik stond 100% hier samen om... Het is belangrijk voor ons om eerst eens die wedstrijd te winnen en dan um, ons, um, ons hoop, en ons, ons kijk maar wat die, ja, die rest van die anders te vallen maakt, maar die, die werk begint bij ons, ons kan niet ongelukkig niet onze uh, toekomst aan andere, andere mannen samen lopen, los niet. Dus so, ik is positief um, dat ons ons weet precies wat, wat van hulle verwacht wordt en uh, dat ons die nodig aan die dag moet leren om zeker te maken om spoel met die rest uit te leggen die wedstrijd heeft. Rab, Maxi, luister, alles van die beste van jou en die boys daar kant. Um, ek weet jylle wil nog in die uh, top 6 presidents kap plek kom. Ja, baie baie dankie en uh, baie dankie vir goeie sal en uh, ons te niet elke woensdag aan. <laughs> Lekker Maxi. Dankie. Sterkte Max. Maxi, die boys sê sterkte, bronzen sê sterkte, jylle kan. Baie dankie bronzen, baie dankie meneer paar water, ek weet jy. Ja, sê. Ek like om te sien dat hy jou nog meneer paar water noemt. Ja, <laughs> Lekker bal. Ja, jy moet respect het. Ja. Ja. <laughs> <laughs> Long up with you. Folks, coming up in a couple of seconds time, Lynn Beck is of course from Helderberg and Joel Morris from, uh, is the head coach at um, uh, Vineyards. Uh, Bronson, it's, uh, is it now just f- on your side? I mean, um, wh- where do you guys now? Ten on the logs? So you're out yeah. of the top six, but you've still got uh, yeah. f- a few games to play though. Yeah, we've got, uh, no, we, the league fixtures are done. We're just waiting for the other league fixtures to, um, to finish up finish up and then we'll play in the the top eight the top so eight, yeah. then we'll know who our opponents are at the end of this month so that's that's yeah. that's so you, still, you still keep and playing i mean it's just the top super league guy just splits in two now yeah and then it's yeah. obviously the sevens coming up later in yeah. uh, starting in october yeah all right folks so i'm just waiting for our uh, crew to get lynn <laughs> the the line. there he is now hello lynn who got me yo Lynn, not too bad. Okay. How are things going on the Helderberg side? The last, I st- last time I saw you was at the bar at Helderberg when I had to come and say goodbye after the match against St. George's, which was an incredible game. Yes, well, we spoke there, yeah, unfortunately for us, but well deserved on St. George's for winning the league this year. They did quite well. Uh, we won fortunately that game with the red card, but yeah. they played the situation better. Yeah, and well deserved for them. I congratulate Merwan Davis and Charles Tutor on winning the Super B League title for their first first try on it. Well done to them. Lynn, that, that race in Super League B at the moment, it seems very tight. It looks like Super League B is the league that everybody's talking about. How are you guys feeling? Like I said to you, like in the beginning of the year, uh, the Super B League is, is evil. It's evil. I've, I've got the log actually in front of me. I've studied calculators like every day. Um, at the bottom one is, is, is more dangerous for this weekend, but up top, um, it's stressful. Uh, we're waiting on other results as well to maybe get automatic promotion. Otherwise, we, we're going for the third place minimal to see how it goes um we work hard and we we're going for it we we think and we feel we deserve to be up there and we're trying hard um the guys are positive very positive and yes we want to play with the big guns yeah uh, i think we're up to it yeah um lynn so salarians uh, this weekend for you guys uh they they will obviously be uh well they've got one point out the log it hasn't been a great season for them um but nevertheless um, i'm sure they're not going to be holding back on saturday it's 
it's their last game in the Super in the Super B League, unfortunately for them. And so we decided still we're picking our strongest team. We're going ahead, mm. picking our strongest team, um, and see whatever team pitch up on the Saturday. Yeah. And we're not taking it lightly at all. Uh, it's still a derby game. Anything can happen. So we're not taking it lightly at all, and we're building for whatever happens with other results on Saturday even though if we end up second or third, maybe. But firstly, we need to get the five points against the Lorians this weekend. Um, we train hard enough for it, so we, we're confident, um, but also skeptical. We, we, we see how it goes. It's still, it's still stressful. Uh, anything can happen. Yeah. All right, Lynn, we're going to have to leave it at that. Um, best of luck to the boys. Uh, um, we do have a chance to, to chat to a few people on the show, and we just wanted to get you on the line and, and, and see... Uh, See how the season's gone for you guys, but all of the best uh, for the weekend. Uh, as we know, as you said, uh, Super League B is down to the wire for absolutely everybody. Thank you, JP, and thank you for what you guys are doing for for community rugby, especially in our area as well. We thank you a lot for that. And yes, best of luck to all the other teams. And we'll we'll have to sorry for Clinton. We have to vote for Violet this weekend to help us. <laughs> Yes. <laughs> All right, Lynn, we'll leave it at that. Uh, Lynn Bierkes is, of course, the um, uh, one of the assistant, or at least assistant coach at um, at Helderberg. They've had a, a fantastic season. But yeah, certainly Super League B looks like it is the hot one. Right, if you want to win yourself a case of SCORE energy drinks, then uh, all you need to do is um, SMS the word SCORE right now uh, to 33090. 33090. Uh, SMS the word SCORE, you, can, you could be a winner um, of a case of SCORE energy drinks. Congratulations to last week's winner, Edgar Kekwa. Edgar walks away with a case of a SCORE energy drinks. All right, with, filled with Garana. So if you're watching the show right now, uh, you need to have this to make sure that you stay awake. All right, a couple of interesting announcements. Uh, of course, um, on the cards at the moment, Strand Pioneers, they're busy with their plans for their sevens tournament. That's happening in 2018 or next year at least. Um, there's going to be a memorial uh, service, as you know, for um, Captain Sally Fredericks. Um, that's going to be happening at CPUT um, Cape Town campus at, um, at 2 p.m. on a Sunday. So for the folks uh, who want to go and attend that memorial service for the late uh, Sally Fredericks, that's on 2 p.m. on a Sunday for Ms. Sakusan, Sakusan uh, Saru player, um, as you said, um, CPUT Cape Town. 2 p.m. That's the Cape Town campus of CPUT. Some other news that's, of course, in on uh, from Cape Rugby TV. Uh, Helderberg are having their Sevens Festival. That's on the 20th and the 11th of October for both high schools and seniors tournament. Elsie's Rafield, courtesy of Anselna Pro, will be having their awards on the 13th of October. And then there's, of course, the Rugby Rag on the 23rd of September. Um, this is what Ali Ras tells us, is that the Excelsiors and Strand United guys are going to be having uh, their... Um, a, a rag as well. Uh, we were hoping to catch up with Anselin Aprol from Elsie Shafir, but unfortunately, we're a little bit uh, tight on uh, time at the moment. Okay, so uh, we're going to take an ad break. When we come back from the break, we'll start wrapping it up and looking at some of the, the fixtures uh, are coming up this weekend. All right, welcome back, everybody. It's Cape Rugby TV. Uh, it is, of course, uh, Wednesday night. Um, right, we've got um, Shohel on the line with us here. Shohel Morris, of course, head coach at Vineyards. Shohel, welcome to uh, Cape Rugby TV. I've also got Jerome Barvata from Western Province Rugby and Bronson. We're from Bell Hall, um, but now he's neutral cap on tonight. Shohel, welcome to Cape Rugby TV. Good evening, I'm here in the studio. Shohel, say hello for us. game for you in the Ja, we zien het in einde van die seizoen, uh, ons zien eindelijk uit naar die wedstrijd. We speel tegen Lagunia, uh, ons zien bij uit naar die wedstrijd. Uh, uh, en hoe komen ze hier die game zo so belangrijk voor jullie? Dat is die einde van die seizoen, soos ek al sê, het is in die liga voor ons is op die spel. So as ons vier punt te kry of vijf punt te kry met die bonus van, dan wen ons die liga. Oh, dat is een belangrijke game. Dan maak ons geschiedenis. Dan, ja, dan maak ons geschiedenis. En waarom toe gaan jullie dan? Gaan jullie op of af? Of, uh, want ik, op die omlik zit jullie op nummer 2 op die log in Super League C. Ik bedoel, dan gaan jullie natuurlijk um, promoten, uh, automatic promotion. Ons is klaar, ons is klaar gepromoot naar uh, Super League B toe. Nog geen, nog geen, ons uh, moet so eerst wachten voor die final resultaten. Nee, die eerste 2 gaan moet weer. Nee, maar jullie weet nog geen of jullie... 
Wel, so, hey, dit klink by julle is aan positief, ne? so, wel, wel gedaan, nee. julle is sikker baie trots op die, op die, op die span so ver in die hierdie season? Nee, ons is baie trots op die manne man, dit is wel baie groot uitdaging vir ons vir, uh, gewees vir die seizoen, en het baie gevat van die manne, maar uh, met karakter, en die manne so vechies het ons deegedra. En het, so, is daar geen manier, dat, dat, dat kan nou niks verkeerd gaan vir julle die naweek nie, ne? Nee, dit mag nie verkeerd gaan nie, ons, ons, ons gaan met een goeie geest aan die weestrijd, uh, en uh, dit is enige wat ons moet gaan, ons moet om die sak nie kry, ons moet om gaan haal, en as ons om wen, dan wen ons die liga, dan wen ons die kap, en ons maak een skiebenis, en ja, kan vals van die dag. So, wel, sê my net, gauw, gauw, dit, dit beteken baie vir die spelers van die club om, om so, so achievement te kry. Ja, dit uh, is verskrikkelijk baie vir die spelers, om, om te dink die spelers kom met die perl die ga uit, nee, ja. uh, waar nog het spelen toe, en die stel in bos wonen, dit gewen ook, uh, en dan ook vir jaar vir die eerste keer, in Superliga C, 9 dinget met, uh, ding met spanne, wat daar voor en daar gespeel het, en vir hulle geklop het, ek dink ons die soen, het goed begin eindelijk, ons eerste twee weestrijde was weggewees, en dit het eindelijk ons, ons, ons seizoen bepaal, en vir ons jaar vir, uh, vertrouwen gegeen vir die seizoen, so, en ons, waar staan ons vandag? Ons moet vir julle sê, wel gedaan, uh, julle het fantastische seizoen gehad, en ons gaan weer met julle gesels, ongelukkig moet ons het nou kort knip, eh, uh, Ja, yes. uh, ek weet nie, ons daar so by die, by die channel wil, wil natuurlijk hulle geld maak met die advertenties, maar dat kom eerst na die show. Maar daai baie dankie en alles van die beste vir julle mense daai kant. Baie dankie, Zaitie man, en sterk te sien, en baie dankie dat jy vanavond van my kon gehad het op, op die TV. Lekker. So, hey, ons sien julle binnenkort, ne? Super lief gebied. Oké man, baie vlees. <laughs> ja, ons nie veel uit WP om vir ons te kom, uh, bykie vir ons te kom, wil jy so man, sal ek dag. Dit is daarom nie, die Super Liga Sika vir jy nie wat, wat, wat speel man. Ongelukkig, ongelukkig is ons vastgemaak die, 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 die naweek, so hou, ons moet om nou daar knip, ons praat weer later met jou, meneer. <laughs> so, I'll take you a, a, a good opportunity there to, to make sure Cape Rugby comes out, but folks, we are of course this weekend, uh, Union Mill up against UWC, it's been a long time coming, that was booked ages ago, so let's quickly go through some of the um, activities at Western Province Rugby at the moment. Um, uh, on the 19th of August, Nizam covers the, the Hubs matches at City Park, that was on uh, Saturday. The 23rd of August, West Brom's Club Rugby Sevens applications that was now sent out it's for the Sevens tournament. And then the last Western Province Junior Women's Festival takes place at City Park. Um, that's on the 25th of August. Then, of course, the under 13th uh, Sevens tournament at Helderberg. 40 teams participating on the 25th. Um, games getting started from 2 p.m. All right, uh, Jerome, uh, let's quickly look at some of the fixtures here. Uh, the Super League A, uh, no, let, Bronson, let me go to you, Rod. The Super League A, is there, are there any games in Super League A that, that, that is still worth watching? Uh, Other than, of course, the bottom three. Or, <laughs> the, I mean, is the top six now final? Everything's done. Um, yeah, more or less, I think the uh, NNK want to get some pride there and uh, playing Brackenfell. And uh, obviously, uh, Tigerberg wants to do probably... Uh, get a better position uh, in the top five. I know well, they're already I mean qualified. They're already qualified yeah, for yeah, Gold yeah. Cup, uh, but they still probably want to still uh, uh, try and in fourth if I'm correct, they can do that. Yeah. Yeah. So I mean, I basically at this stage of the game, Super League A teams are sitting back and watching to yeah. see what other teams are going to do. Correct. Yeah. Um, so it's I think that that log is fairly settled. Um, yeah. Yeah. All right, let's take a look at Super League B. Super League B is where it's, it's extremely tough, but just incidentally, let's quickly look at Super League A. It's Vixen Tigerbergs, Union Mill and UWC. That's where we're going to be. UCT and SK Warmers, Stellenbosch and Primrose, Brackenfell and NTK. And then in Super League B, Young People's Hands and Hearts, Violets and Villages, Rangers and Paul, Kales River Collegians, Helderberg Salarians, Belleville and St. George's. Down to the wire in this league. It is what everybody has to play for. And everyone's talking about Super League B, Super League B, Super League B. Who's going to go up? Who's going to go up? Who's going to go down? Everything is so tight in Super League B. All right. Um, uh, Super League C, uh, it's Young Stars and Wraithby. Vineyards and Lagunia. Strand and Elsies. <coughs> Scott Steen and the Strand United. Lunga and Humberdeers and Carlemore and Macassar. Meanwhile, in the promotion league. Young Wesley's Caledonia Roses. Retreat and Blue Stars. Manenberg and Van Estelle. Blue Jets and Nord Lickers. And in the City League, Young Ideas and Silver Tree. Progress and Western Zebras. Police and Tech. Then it's Titans and Peninsula, Silverleaf and Thistles and Atlantis and Rocklands playing in the Southern League. Northern League sees Whistling Wheels and Delft. Imikawi is, of course, up against Stelco. And uh, then we uh, see Blake's up against um, Akaya Licha. Right, folks, so cracker matches. Jerome, where are you going to JP, we playing the under-21s are playing the first game Saturday against the Bulls at City Park. So I'll be there. All right. Bronson, on your side, I'll you guys are done. 
Yeah, b uh, but I'll be out supporting Balbo and watching that game. It's, it's, I think it's important just to uh, where my roots were, but I'm going to support Balbo this weekend. I know St. George is <laughs> listening to the show, but I'll be out watching that game. But that's the whole purpose of community <laughs> rugby is that you stick to your community. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I think, uh, I think one should throw a rope around a club and say, right, within that distance, you stay. <laughs> <laughs> um, just uh, going back to some of the, 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 the matches here, Jerome. Um, there seems to be a whole lot of tension, but especially in Super League B, it's, it's down to the wire. What is going on in Super League B? Yeah, it is. Uh, uh, what did uh, Lynn say? It's a, it's an evil league. <laughs> yeah. So yeah. it's, it, it, it's a actually a right name, uh, yeah. the perfect name for that. So yeah, there's still like anything can still happen uh, in that league, and it was it was competitive and it was tough. I mean, like wow. like Maxi was saying. They were losing uh, a lot of games. They were losing at time with one point, and uh, that's how tough that league was. And uh, I mean, the last game that they played, they just yeah. lost in the last minute against uh, yeah. and against villagers also, which villagers is tough. But um, so we've been talking each, about each this team whole season, is yeah. competitive in that league. So yeah. that that is a tough league. Yeah. Bronson, uh, thanks for joining us on Cape Rugby TV. We hope to see you back here soon. I know you have to race through it here, so re we really appreciate it. Yeah. Next time, we'll talk to you a lot more. No problem. Thanks for having me. Just quickly, safe trip to our Bella Legends. It's, going, it's invited to uh, uh, George. Yeah. Uh, they're playing an old, old Legends game over there. They're WhatsApping you now. Eh? They're putting <laughs> you messages on that. I know that. <laughs> yeah, and um, yeah, I'm looking forward to uh, myself and Bobby will be, will be out at the score sevens. So obviously, when that starts, we were looking yeah. out and just... Um, just in inviting more guys to the squad there. We're looking forward to that, yeah. Province events, yeah. Jerome, uh, we will hopefully see you over the weekend, and, and if we don't, then best of luck. Yeah, thanks. I uh, think uh, we're going to need it. It's, a, it's also a big derby between the two teams. They've got a good side, but um, yeah, I'm positive about Saturday. Yeah, I'm sure we're going to do well. No, we're all very, we're all right, 100% behind Western Province. Uh, one team, one union standing together. Right, folks, that's a wrap from us. Uh, just to remind again, the uh, Sally Fredericks Memorial is on um, Sunday at CPUT in the Cape Town uh, branch starting at 2 p.m. on a Sunday. That's a wrap from Cape Rugby TV. We'll see you again next week, same time, same place. Hopefully no glitches. And fantastic rugby weekend. Bye-bye.